How's it going, everybody? It is your old pal Baba Ganoush here again. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a good one here today. So, obviously, I got the Tacoma partially pulled into the garage, prepped and ready to go. We got another great modification here for you. Something, a nice DIY project that is either free of charge or very inexpensive. Something you can easily do at home yourself. Now I've been doing a lot more off-roading and doing a lot more technical stuff, really kind of learning more and challenging myself every time that I go out. And one thing that I noticed in particular was the approach angles and ground clearance. Uh, that I'm kind of lacking in the front end right there in front of the tires. So what we're gonna be doing in an effort to improve my front ground clearance and my front angle approaches, uh, we're gonna be doing a small little bumper trim underneath. I'm sure you've seen videos of this before, but this is the video that I'm doing here today. So I'm excited to do this. Of course, I'm a little nervous about cutting into the front bumper, but I expect to replace, replace that front bumper with a nice heavy duty off-road one uh, at some point in time. But until that happens, this will be a great little modification to give me some better approach angles and better ground clearance uh, off the front end there for the time being. So settle on in, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, and as always before we get started, be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos. I got new ones coming out every single Wednesday and Sunday. Be sure to hit the, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button at the end of the video if you did enjoy yourself. I hope you do. This is going to be a good one here today for you. Okay, so first we're going to have to remove a couple bolts uh, and also remove a couple of the little poppers as well to remove the inside liner to your wheel well. Uh, it's going to help speed things up. Uh, especially give you a little bit of added clearance behind here when you do start cutting. So you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket as long as you have it there with you. You just need a 10 millimeter. Uh, you do have a couple bolts underneath here and also uh, one or two inside the wheel well. Uh, I've had some trimming done here already so I only have two bolts to take out uh, but let's go ahead and get that done. I did not even need to use the actual socket that actually came out really nice and easy. Kind of concerning, but hey, it helps me out. All right, two screws out. I got a, let's see here. I got a little popper underneath here. Um, and like I said, I already had some trimming and stuff done when I got my cab mount chop done. Uh, so I only have one popper inside the wheel well to take off. Okay, and that's it. So as you can see, I got, yeah, as you can see, I've already done some work to it, so. And there's lots of mud in there. Ooh-wee. Okay, let me, uh, <coughs> yeah. All right, so I'm using a silver Sharpie because I got a black truck. I uh, just marked out half an inch little marks all the way around, um, and I'll be able to use those as my guide as I lay my tape down. Should be pretty good to go. Okay, let's lay the tape down. Let's get started. And let's do this. Sorry if my uh, big head is in the way. Let me uh, here, let me uh, move you guys. Give you a bit of a better angle there. Let me get some of my tools out of the way. All right, is that a better angle? Can can you see? You're good. You're good. All right, let's do this. Okay, that's pretty pretty darn close there. All right, everybody, so I got the passenger side done as well. Uh, so now I did readjust some of the tape a little bit after making some of my final measurements. The way I got this tape line is by following about a half inch down from this body line right there. Uh, this body line right down below that you see go across. Uh, basically, I'm doing four and three quarters inches from that bottom body line to the bottom of the tape. So it's four and three quarters all the way across. From the bottom of the uh, little fender cap here to the bottom of the tape is three and a half exactly on both sides. Um, so yeah, just kind of measuring up, getting things ready to go. Now it's time for the scary part. Time to cut into it. Ooh. Okay, so I changed out the blade to the little tougher one. I'm gonna start over here in the corner off of this, off the uh, fender cap and everything. Wish me luck. Whew. So certainly not the easiest thing doing it by hand with a little saw but you're still able to get the job done. I'm just gonna have to go through with a little bit of sandpaper and just clean it up a little extra. Uh, but let me get started on this bottom cut here 
do the passenger side, and away we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this metal bracket. <laughs> There's this metal bracket behind the fender here. Uh, once I cut through this, and hopefully I don't ding this thing up too much, uh, I gotta try to bend that thing out of the way. Again, I don't have a cutting wheel right now. Hey, I'm utilizing what I got. Making it work, right? So yeah, this nice little section comes off. I can already see how much clearance I'm gonna have here. Holy smokes, that's incredible. I gotta clean this up a little bit. I gotta bend this bracket out of the way uh, cause there's no way I'm gonna be able to remove that. Uh, yeah, I'll just have to bend it out of the way for right now. I've seen plenty of people just bend it out of the way. Uh, and then I would like to see if I can do something about the plastic to at least keep some of it uh, just to keep everything kind of tucked in and it, again just kind of protect everything on the inside from all the mud and whatnot I'll have to do something with the Baja Designs harness here and just kind of clean it up and put it out of the way But that's what zip ties are for. So okay, got a little bit more work to do So okay, now that I've had some practice uh, The first one came out pretty smooth. Obviously, it was just a matter of kind of getting in a groove kind of getting used to what to expect a little bit uh, so passenger sides should certainly go a little bit smoother. I'm gonna get the bumper part trimmed up first And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just scope out the inside seeing how much of the plastic wheel liner uh, Wheel well liner I can save just to help prevent uh, against some of the splashing and whatnot We'll see what I have to do I'll see what I can salvage and see what I can kind of reattach and kind of push up in there um, yeah, in the, in the meantime, let me get started on the passenger side. I'm hoping this one goes a little bit smoother. Woo! Oh boy. All right, so there you have it. Nice, nice clean cut. I basically am like a sixteenth off. There's a couple small gaps and everything. Again, I got to sand it down and clean it up. Uh, but once I put that, once I put that edging on there, that protective edge, it'll be a really, really nice clean line. Uh, but yeah, it can be done by hand. It takes a little bit more effort, of course, than a cutting wheel. But hey, it can be done. And once you're done with it, it can come out nice and clean. So yeah, let me uh, let me go over some plans for the interior liners here. Uh, clean everything up, get the trim on there, and we'll see what we got for you. All right, everybody. So I put you away for a little while. I just wanted to try to clean this up and try to knock it out, speed things up a little bit. So so let me give you kind of the final result and what you're going to be seeing on the passenger side. Okay, so I wasn't really able to save uh, too much of the uh, the fender liner here, unfortunately, the wheel well liner. Um, I did have to cut a good portion away, but as you can see, I did still leave a good portion onto there just to prevent some of the splash up. I was able to drill a couple holes here and using this little spot, throw a zip tie through, so that way at least this spot will also protect you know a little bit of uh, that engine opening. Uh, and then the aluminum bracket that you all saw before, this is just pushed and bent up out of the way. That was pretty, pretty easy to take care of. Uh, when it comes to my Baja Designs fog lights, I did reroute the wiring and zip tie those up into a couple little spots here. So a nice clean look. It still has some slack into it just to be able to bounce around. Um, yeah, really, really happy with this turned out. Uh, really nice and clean. Definitely opened things up, opens things up for me. So okay everybody, we got everything nice and cleaned up. I use my uh, the rasp as well as a good little sander. Get things nice and clean. You can see a nice clean line here. Nice straight line. I did trim up this bottom part just a little bit more. I didn't really like having that little half inch stick out. I didn't like the way it looked. So I did trim that back to make it nice and flush here. I did keep that half inch line uh, up along the top here though. Uh, I just like the way it looks. It looks nice and clean. So I have the trim here. I just got this stuff off of Amazon. I will leave this in the link below. Uh, it's like 1 8 inch trim, high gloss. I wanted something really nice and clean, nice and low profile. Uh, so yeah, now it's a matter of getting the trim on.
Okay, guys, we are finished. So it took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but again, I was trying to see if I could salvage the inner liner. As well as this is the first time really doing this before, so it was new to me. I let me back the truck out. Let me give you guys a good montage of some great shots. Let's go ahead. Let me show you what it's all about. So there it is, it came out great. Again, it took me a little longer than I expected because again, I was trying some things, but I love the look of it, nice clean look, and it's a good substitute before I go ahead and actually go uh, go and get myself an off-road bumper. I get to clean all my stuff up, clean all my tools up, back the car into the garage, it's time for dinner. Thank you all again for following along on another fantastic video. For those of you who are looking to do this yourself, I hope this did help out a little bit there for you. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos coming out there for you. Hit that, uh, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Always do appreciate it. It's been a long day. I'll see you guys later.